and it's all the same. No drug testing. And when there's no drug testing, somebody's cheating. Period. I don't care what nobody say. Somebody's cheating. PDs or diuretics. Somebody's cheating. And uh, 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 we all yell at Bob Arum for uh, letting Valdez fight. True enough. I'm with you on it. I still haven't um, got ESPN Plus. I, I mean, I mean, I still haven't re- renewed my ESPN Plus. You know what I mean? But y'all dumb boxing fans believe it's such thing as a black man in charge. No, 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 no. No. The reason why there's no drug testing so people can cheat. Remember in baseball? That is Fred from Barbershop Conversations. He's referring to Sebastian Fundora. He's saying that Fundora confirms that there was no drug testing in this fight. Or at least he didn't take any drug testing. I told y'all to get ready for the narrative. And thankfully, there were people on that video that were saying, you know, dude, stop. Stop, man. You know, why Why wait till the biggest win of this kid's career to all of a sudden start bringing up drug testing and gloves and all this other stuff? See, this is this is what I mean, bro. This is These are the type of channels that are bad for boxing, bro. These are the type of channels that are bad for boxing. So automatically, because there's no drug testing, that means somebody got to be cheating. Or somebody is taking PDs. I'm I'm also seeing comments where people are questioning Sebastian Fundora's size. Why is he so small at one at that height at 154? How does he make the weight? Dude, the the guy is naturally that fucking thin, bro. He's he's just a a freakishly thin, tall dude. You you ever you ever saw Manute Bowl, bro? Seven foot, how 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 tall? Manu Bowl, um, Sean Bradley. Remember Sean Bradley from the seventy sixes? Um, Manu Bowl. Uh, you got all these thin, uh, really thin uh, basketball players. I mean, they're so thin they look very brittle. Where if you kick them wrong or something, if they fall, they're gonna break a bone. These dudes are seven foot seven. Way taller than Sebastian Fundora. So they got to be taking pads. Or they, you know, you never saw somebody naturally that tall that thin. If somebody is seven foot seven and that thin playing basketball, so you, they can't be six foot six and that thin. I, I don't understand it. And, and <laughs> a lot of those ball players that was like seven seven, I forgot how, how heavy. Manu Bowl and Sean Bradley were, but they were probably no more than 220 pounds. Come on, man. This is this is getting out of hand, bro. I'm so tired of these fuckers. I'm, I'm off this.